hello my dear students uh, in the previous video we discussed about the chemical like a preparation of a phenols right so as i told these are important for your karnataka cet exam as well as for your theory exam and how a uh, sort of a questions will appear even i discussed about that one i hope uh, uh, you find that one useful in the same way let us discuss about the chemical properties of a phenol or the chemical reactions of a phenol dear students okay so uh phenol you could see a uh, plenty of chemical reactions been carried out by the phenol and uh, exam point of view and uh, theory exam as well as for the competitive exam uh, some sort of a uh, questions will definitely appear from this part so please do concentrate uh, about this mind map where we will going to discuss about the chemical reaction so let us go with the first see here whenever phenol is treated with a zinc dust or we could say zinc powder whenever phenol is treated with a zinc powder the zinc uh, act as a reducing agent so it reduces the given a phenol and itself undergo oxidation okay so phenol when undergo reduction it results in the formation of a benzene and zinc will undergo oxidations to give zinc oxide okay and for your Uh, theory exam the question will be asked like this they'll going to give a phenol and they'll going to mention the zinc dust and this will be the blank you have to fill that one so phenol whenever undergo reduction it gives benzene so this is the first over that what we can call the chemical reaction similarly let us move to a, a next one that is when phenol is treated with a concentrated nitric acid and concentrated sulfuric acid this mixture together is known as what nitrating mixture here we'll going to call it as a nitrating mixture and this is the electrophilic substitution reaction okay and this reaction is known as electrophilic substitution reaction so this is called nitrating mixture which results in the formation of a nitronium ion that is NO2 NO2 plus is the nitronium ion which acts as a electrophile this question might be asked for the competitive exam so here what happens since it is a nitrating mixture that we are using and even we are using a concentrated nitric and the sulfuric acid here the substitution will takes place at the ortho at the para as well as at this ortho position so so whenever phenol is treated with a mixture of a nitric acid and the sulfuric acid we will going to get tri substituted product that is 2 comma 4 comma 6 tri nitrophenol that is called as a picric acid and this picric acid will be used uh, to prepare some of the explosive in that way so this is one you have to concentrate why because there comes an another reaction dear students just concentrate here when the same phenol is treated with a dilute nitric acid here we have used concentrated nitric acid but when the same phenol treated with a dilute nitric acid we will going to get two product that is one is ortho nitrophenol one is para nitrophenol so whenever in exam you should concentrate whether they are asking for the concentrated nitric acid or whether they are asking for the dilute nitric acid if the dilute nitric acid is there you will going to get ortho and para nitrophenol means two a product you will going to get if it is a concentrated you will going to get tri substituted respective phenol that you had to concentrate okay and here uh, between the ortho uh, nitrophenol and the para nitrophenol the major product we will going to get both the product but the major product is para nitrophenol this might be a question uh, like in your competitive exam they may ask which might be the uh, like a major product so always para will be a major product why not ortho means here due to the steric hindrance due to the steric hindrance what happens even oh is a bulky group and even uh, no2 is a bulky group so the product formed the ortho product formed will be a very minor product compared to a para nitrophenol so you these two you have to concentrate you have to you have to find out the difference similarly when phenol is treated with a bromine water 
when phenol is treated with a bromine water it also undergo electrophilic substitution reaction these are all or nothing but a electrophilic substitution reaction bromine water is a strong what we can say the electrophilic substituting reagent so that results in the formation of a 2,4,6 4,6 tribromophenol like how we got here in the same way when phenol is treated with the bromine water we will going to get uh, 2,4,6 tribromophenol when the same phenol is treated with a bromine in cs2 cs2 is nothing but carbon disulfide it's a solvent here bromine uh, like gas is taken and it is dissolved in a water that gives a bromine water if the bromine gas is taken and it is dissolved in a cs2 that gives bromine in cs2 uh, what we can say the solvent when phenol is treated with this bromine which is dissolved in a carbon disulfide it results in the formation of ortho bromophenol and the para bromophenol so as i have told para will be the major product ortho will be the minor due to a steric hindrance and you have to concentrate the difference over here and repeating these all are electrophilic substitution reaction okay similarly next one whenever this phenol so whenever this phenol Uh, which is colorless in uh, like appearance when kept to the open air when it is exposed to the air it suddenly turns into a pink color so what is the reason of turning into a pink color is because it undergo oxidation to give a, a type of a compound called benzoquinone so phenol when kept open to the air will turn into a pink color due to the formation of benzoquinone this is a natural process similarly if phenol is treated with a any oxidizing agent so open air means where we will be having a oxygen and a naturally oxidation will takes place if you want to uh, do the oxidation for this phenol then we'll going to treat this phenol with a sodium yes so the last uh, two reactions that is when phenol is treated with a sodium hydroxide dear students when phenol is treated with a a uh, sodium hydroxide which is a base it results in the formation of a sodium phenyl okay so thing is phenol being highly like what we can say acidic in nature due to the formation of a phenoxid ion which will undergo resonance and the stability of that phenoxid ion and the release of a h plus ion will make the phenol a very uh, what we can say a strong acid so what happens whenever this phenol is treated with a sodium hydroxide it turns into a salt first so uh, uh, to carry out the reaction in the salt formation is very easy compared to when it is in a phenol form so that's why whenever phenol need to undergo a particular reaction it is first Uh, treated with a sodium hydroxide so that it turns into a salt and followed by they are going to treat with a carbon dioxide and further acid hydrolysis whenever the carbon dioxide is treated dear students this phenol will undergo carboxylation reaction what do you mean by carboxylation it is the uh, what we can say the addition of carboxyl group that is coo group so this group will be like added or substituted to this phenol and it results in the formation of a compound known as salicylic acid so in your exam they are going to give you particularly they are going to ask you uh, like uh, what a phenol when or uh, you have a named reaction that is called kolbers reaction kolbers reaction explain kolbers reaction they'll going to ask you or they'll going to give a phenol and they'll going to give a reagents and you have to fill which product will be formed what is the name of this reaction this is called kolbers reaction similarly here whenever phenol is treated with a chcl3 dear student chcl3 is nothing but chloroform so whenever phenol is treated with a chloroform followed by the uh, sodium hydroxide in excess when we treat with the excess of sodium hydroxide here you will going to get a product called salicylaldehyde okay and the name of the reaction this is like a famous reaction that is 
RT reaction we are going to call it or Reimer Thiemann reaction. It is called Reimer Thiemann reaction. This is a Kolbers reaction. This is a Reimer Thiemann reaction. The reagents used here will be chloroform followed by the excess of aqueous sodium hydroxide. Okay, and this is a uh, Reimer Thiemann reaction. And here the reduction will going to take place. And all these, as I have mentioned, are the electrophilic substitution reaction. Here this is called a nitration, even this is also called nitration and here bromine will going to get substituted and that's why it is called as a bromination and here it's a oxidation. So these are some of the chemical reactions of a phenol which you find very important even for the theory as well as a competitive exam. In the same way in my next upcoming video we are going to discuss about the ether that is its chemical property as well as its preparation. I hope you find this video useful. Thank you.